Today's episode of Thrive Gwinnett is brought to you by Rocket IT. We help businesses leverage and automate their technology to ensure each day is more profitable than the last. Your technology should work for you in a way that grows your business and helps you reach your goals. To learn if your organization could benefit from one of Rocket IT's personalized roadmaps, visit rocketit.com forward slash roadmap help or click the link in this episode's description. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another great episode of Rocket IT's Thrive Gwinnett. I am your host, Colleen Frangos, Rocket IT's Community Relationship Coordinator, and I've got a great conversation with the one and only Denise Brinson. So welcome, Denise. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad well, to be here. Yes. No, and I, I'm so thrilled that we're making this happen. Uh, Denise, she is the assistant city manager over at the city of Swanee. Uh, Rocket IT is a Swanee business, so this Woo-hoo! just made a lot of sense for us to do, and we're we're thrilled to to make it happen. And yeah, Denise, as a as a fellow pioneer. I think we're just going to have a good conversation and and I'm excited to hear from you. So I'll take the back seat. You're going to be in the driver's seat. Uh, So let's, let's do this. So I I want to really focus uh, on the arts. I I think that's something that has been a passion of yours for some time and you've been a champion of that. So why don't you share with our listeners, Denise, a little bit about the art initiatives that are going on with the city of Swanee. Sure. Happy. And we actually have a brand new one that is being done as we speak. Our side of our court building that was just renovated and added onto is in the process of getting a huge mural on the side of it. So as you drive down Buford Highway and approach Lawrenceville Swanee Road, it's underway as we speak. So, and this is uh, taking place in middle February. I don't know when this airs, but uh, it's going to be great. It's huge, big, it's colorful, it's fun going to love it. So Swanee's Art Initiative. Yes, there is a lot going on even in the pandemic. If you probably the the main stay for our art initiative is the Sculpt Tour program. And it is a walkable exhibit in and around town center. There's about 14 sculptures that are new that rotate out every other year. And then a whole set of permanent sculptures as well. So there's probably around 25 or so just around town center. And that's probably, like I said, the, the one of the big things that we mm-hmm. do in, in Swanee, but there's also a permanent art collection in many of our parks around the city. And, but I want to, what I want to center on though, probably what people don't realize is that we encourage on a voluntary basis, developers to put art in their new projects. And in a minute, I'm going to show you In our free time that we had on our hands during the pandemic, we put something together on our website and I'll share my screen in a bit and show you. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's a lot of art throughout the city that doesn't belong to the city that is done by people who put in new businesses in the city. So I'm going to show you a couple of them. But we, when somebody comes in and is asking to develop something in the city, We ask them to come before the Public Art Commission and let us know where and how they think they can incorporate public art into their project. It's not mandatory. It's just encouraged. But so far, we've had about a 76% success rate of that. Probably the the biggest one that people see the most is Hardest of Swanee, the senior living facility that's yes. kind of catty corner from Town Center Park. Mm-hmm. That was a former sculptor sculpture. It's called Dancer XX. It's a big giant sculpture of a dancer with a cape that waves in the background. And they we hooked them up, the Hardest of Swanee, the senior living facility, with the artist. And it was just really transported from town center park to this new development. So you can probably catch on that there's a lot of synergy between the sculpture program and us asking developers to put public art in their projects. And we assist them all we can. We have a landscape architect that we hire to assist them. 
in finding the right artist and finding the right placement of art, the size, the scale. So we try to make it as easy as possible. Yeah. Have, have you seen stuff as you drive along? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Well, and everything, I mean, it's all in my route to and from work. So I, I love it. And um, it, it does, it brightens your day. I, I think it's just, you know, depending on how artsy you are, you could be on one side or the other, but I just think it's beautiful. And it just adds to, to the fun too. I, I just, it's entertaining. Absolutely. In fact, what you just said is, is part of the reason why we do it. And That's awesome. And Swanee, Swanee made a decision when we first started this initiative mm -hmm. to make public art kind of our arts niche in a sense. And I mean, the reason is it's, it's public. It's for right. everyone. Everyone can enjoy it. Whether you're rich or poor, old or young, doesn't matter. That's why that is what we have focused on as a city. And, uh, you know, again, that decision was made a long time ago. And you mentioned the fun and interesting part. Mm -hmm. I, I do a lot of talks with like Blance Gwinnett and, and Leadership Gwinnett. And yes. one of the things I, I talk about, do you remember Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, it was, it was like, you have to make sure you have food, shelter, housing, and then it goes to safety. And then as you go up the pyramid in Maslow's, it was self-actualization. Well, there's a similar pyramid for community development. It was developed by a reformed attorney named uh, Peter Kagiyama. And in that pyramid, it starts with things like infrastructure, streets, housing, water, sewer, and then it goes up to safety, it goes up to social things, mm -hmm. being together, gathering, yeah. think town center park. Right. And then at the top of that pyramid is the word interesting. And that's where you can add in things like events, public art, and those things that are fun and interactive and just out or just make things more beautiful and pleasant to be around. Love and it. so that's, that's kind of as the city's development, not just Swanee, but around Gwinnett. I'm so proud of yeah. all of us that are stepping up to make our cities more interesting. So that's, that's why we're in it kind of big picture from a city. I started off talking about some of the details, Yeah. but I want to show you, can I show you, can I share my screen? Absolutely. Let's do it. So if you go to swanee.com, this is our website. Of course, it's all thing pandemic that comes up first, but if Current you go events. to explore, <laughs> oh, I know I'm so sad, go to explore Swanee okay. and then over to, there's a whole section on public art and you can look at all of our sculptures awesome. from years past, our permanent art collection, art on a limb, which is kind of a hide and seek that we just did in November. And then art driving tour, click on that. And yes, yes I art in the car, which by the way, I'm, I'm looking, I don't know if you can see this. I, I have, this was a takeoff. I have a shirt that said, it's beautiful. Uh, I, I'm looking for a size medium or small for you. I, I haven't found it yet, uh -huh. but I'm, I'm in search because I know you want one of these. You, you we, bet I'll wear that around we, town. <laughs> <laughs> we did that a couple of years ago when we unveiled one of our sculpt tours and actually Anthony and Ann Carroll from Aurora theater actually wore that all around Disney world. And they That's sent fantastic. Pictures. It was fantastic. Oh yeah. So you get some art people. We stick together, you know? So anyways, this, um, I arted in the car, what I'm sharing here uh -huh. is just something that we developed over the pandemic to get people out and to enjoy the art and really to help people to know that there's a lot more than just around town center. You'll right. see where this cluster of, of little icons are. That's town center park. But there's places all over the city that have art. And I'm going to point out a couple things that places that you might not expect, like over here. If you look at this, if you've ever been to Aldi's, this is McDowell's Bear, and it's right in front of Aldi's. When they built that building, they wanted to participate, so That's they partnered awesome. with an artist, and there's this really cool little landscaped area outside of Aldi's. Another Fabulous. one, just down the street, there is, it's, it's uh, it used to be called Avonlea Apartments, but it, I think it's called... Um, it's got a different name now based on this art. This is a huge piece of art. I mean, I won't tell you what it costs, but they spent <laughs> some, they spent some bank on this piece of art. It's a very large scale, scale sculpture by Phil Proctor. Very cool. And, you know, they bought in 
as an apartment complex to make their place a little special. So when you drive through this, it's in Swanee Station. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a great, it's a great just, you know, nod to artists, nod to making their place a little different than, than others. Another place I'll point out over in by the Swanee Gateway area. Okay. Uh, This is a pretty new mural. Uh, Can you see that? That's Holt Camp. So if you drive along I-85, it's just a really bright, colorful, kind of a nod to some of the historic things in Swanee. But then there's all, of course, all of our permanent collection and these little blue icons are the existing sculpture. That's right Mm -hmm. in front of City Hall. Uh, my personal favorite is right here. The love I love sculpture. that one. Ooh, me too. So I just show you that. Uh, I encourage whoever is listening to this to hop in your car or hop on the internet and uh, surf the our great sculptures all around the city. And, yeah. and there's really, there's dozens of them. And a lot of them were purchased. As I said, I'll unshare my screen a lot of them were purchased, you know, by private developers. So that's cool. City invests in it mostly through donation. All of the, for instance, sculpt tour is all done through donated dollars, sponsorships. Yeah. But in addition to that though, all these private developers are participating. Even the very first one was tire Omni or not. I'm sorry, not tire Omni advance auto. Okay. As the sculpture that has some, bumper car bumpers that's awesome that's the the material so it's just yeah. just really cool and all we do to make that happen is ask them to participate we don't mandate it we don't mm-hmm. force them we just ask them and if they don't feel comfortable about putting art on their property then we of course accept donations for our art program so it's pretty cool yeah no i love it well, yeah. hey, before we transition okay. into my next question, yeah. I'm noticing a little something behind you there. We oh, mentioned yeah. the uh, town center park, but uh, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you if you can see this. So this is town center park down here. Okay. So once you cross over Buford Highway, this little park here is in the process of being redeveloped. The mural that I spoke of that is underway is right here and that there's a new oh, okay. right on the corner of um, it's right, and this is still fire brewing. So if you're mm-hmm. in the patio of still fire, you'll be able to look at this beautiful mural. Ah, this okay. park is in the process of being redeveloped, but probably towards the end of this year, we'll be building a brand new town center extension. And if you see Cute. this area up here, that is going to be a focal point for an iconic signature piece of art that we're in the middle of an art for all capital campaign for. So okay. Colleen, I'm not going to go into any more detail because I know yeah. this is a, a short podcast. That's but, true. But another time, invite me back and we'll talk about the plans for this park. It's pretty cool. Love it. No, I'm Hot excited. Water. That's a good yeah. teaser. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, moving on. I, I think right. we're just sticking with, with our, our theme of the show, okay. all things art. I, I know the city has, city of Swanee has a great relationship with the now Swanee Art Center, yes. formerly the North Gwinnett Art, Arts Alliance. Mm-hmm. So, so tell me about that relationship a little sure. bit. Sure. So the Swanee Art Center, and it's still, it's doing business as the Swanee Art Center. It's, there's still a North Gwinnett Arts Association that, okay. that is a membership organization, but the Swanee Art Center... Back in 2015, mm-hmm. we entered into an agreement with, at the time, the North Gwinnett Arts Association to do, for them to be able to do an art center and for them to house our welcome center. In addition to housing our welcome center, they also do two arts related events. They help us, they advise us on art related issues, advice, and probably the biggest, but the biggest thing is that they staff a welcome center. So when you go, when you go into our welcome center and uh-huh. the Swanee art center, you know, a lot of times I've been to places where when you go to the welcome center, it's a little 10 by 10 cube. That's just lined with postcards and pamphlets and stuff. Right. When you walk in the Swanee art center, it is a beautiful art gallery. It's so an experience. It is, it, it, oh, it's fantastic. And they offer classes, a little bit limited right now due to the pandemic. Right. 
but they just do a lot for the community. It's, it's, it's not only an artist organization Mm -hmm. or members for member artists, but it's also anyone can join art lovers can join. And they also do, because they do several events, they do an art fest, they do a jazz fest Mm -hmm. and they do the car show Mm -hmm. that's in November, which hopefully they'll get to do this year. (sighs) Yes. Fingers crossed. Right. So they, they're always looking for volunteers to do that as well. Uh, with the pandemic, I will say, as with many arts organizations, their main source of income, other than what the, the city gives them as part of our partnership, is these events. So mm-hmm. they've struggled. They've definitely. But but they've done a good job of keeping positive, keeping the doors open. And they one of the things they're doing, because it is allowed here at the city, is they're doing a run. A 5K Yay. run, a okay. Supergirl 5K. So it's going to be April 24th. They are okay. be, so they're looking for runners. Mm-hmm. They're looking for sponsors. And even if you just want to show up in your favorite superhero outfit and walk the course, that's fine as well. Or just cheer that's people awesome. on. And of course, with the pandemic, you know, there's so many different kinds of superheroes in this world yes, right now absolutely. that you don't even have to dress up as your favorite Marvel or DC comic hero. You can dress up as a nurse or a teacher or a, a public cool. works, a city of Swanee public works employees. We can hook yeah. you up with a Swanee shirt. <laughs> Love it. So anyways, I, I encourage people to go to the Swanee Art Center website, swaneeartcenter.org, and there'll be a link there to sign up to run or to sponsor. It's going to be, great. it's going to be fun. It's Absolutely. Be fun. But if you haven't stopped by the art center, and I know you have. Yes. <laughs> it was amazing. But, but for those listening, if you haven't stopped by, it is on one of the side streets across from City Hall, just down from Tequila Mama Taqueria. Mm-hmm. So come by. It's got the big blue awnings with Swanee bubbles on it. And you look in the windows and it's just got beautiful art and really you all your Swanee swag there as well. Yes. You can get, I arted. Shirt. Yes. Be great. <laughs> no, it is awesome. proudly. Okay. Now I didn't show you, by the way, I didn't show you the, um, so this is the front of the shirt, mm-hmm. but there's also wait for it, a back of the shirt. So, oh. you know, <laughs> I, love I know it. you're, I know you're really, for that. <laughs> that's so good. It's okay. so good. Well, and what a great way to end our episode of thrive today. Denise, <laughs> I, I, we're going to end it there. That was so good. Well, hey, yes, I absolutely agree with you. We had some great things to cover. There's more, I know. There so we got a good teaser for a potential other episode that we could do here. But right. in the meantime, I really appreciate you doing this and, and getting on the, you know, this Thrive Gwinnett episode to talk a little bit about the arts initiatives and also the Swanee Arts Center and how we as a community can get involved and support what's going on over and- there. And thank you. And I will tell you, I know that Rocket IT are big art appreciators as well. So thank you for all you're doing in the art community and your beautiful offices is lined with beautiful artwork. So I know that that your owner has a passion for art as well. So I appreciate being able to share our message today. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, Denise, until next time, thank you so much for being on Thrive Gwinnett today. All right. Thank you. All right. And everybody, definitely, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to to see you jump on our, our bandwagon here with all the awesome conversations and get involved in our great community. Thanks so much and have a great day. 